I'm here this morning with Tina Deckers from the U Place Triathlon team. Um, Tina's been out here for a couple of weeks now training. Um, and she's going to answer a few questions for us about what she's been doing out here and uh, the U Place team. Um, Tina, you've uh, you won Ironman France twice. Um, you're the first Belgian lady, I think, to win, a, win an Ironman. Um, what kind of response do you get from people in, in Belgium? Is, is it a big sport um, in Belgium? Triathlon, is, you, you get much recognition for the fact that you're, you're a two-time Ironman winner. Yeah, um, in Belgium, I, I, yeah, it's a big sport, triathlon. It's, it's really booming there. So if you want to participate in a triathlon in Belgium, you have to be really quick if you are... Uh, um, yeah, it's, it's sometimes a race entry, it goes open and then like uh, in, in the next half hour it's fully booked, so it's really popular and I get a, a lot of response of the triathlon people, but outside of triathlon they, they don't know me, <laughs> they don't know Tim Edekers, it's too small, the sport in Belgium, it's like football and uh, cycling are really popular sports, but Triathlon, yeah, it's not so. <laughs> then outside of triathlon, I, I don't think uh, people on the street go like, ah, oh, there, in the decker, she's won uh, an Ironman. So no, that's uh, not the case. Do, do you think this is something that maybe will change now with the U Place team being a professional team? You, you obviously, if you get together as, as a group of people, you get maybe some more recognition. Do you think this is something that may change in the future now? Yeah, I really think so because um, now if you are a team, um, we are with, with the green shirts and with our green bikes, we, we get a, a lot of response of it. So. Um, now we're on national television uh, this week, so I think it, it's better to be in, be in a team than just on your own doing your thing because triathlon, the long distance, it's not a, an Olympic sport, so it's really difficult in Belgium to get a, yeah, a little response there, so it's, it's, it's good to team. How's how's it changed for you in terms of your your, your training program working as a team? Yeah, obviously, it's, it's an individual sport, uh, triathlon. But you're now here. You're working for the first year as, as part of a team. How, how's that changed your training regime? Yeah, um, it, it's really good for me because otherwise maybe I had to go to work again because um, uh, you have some money if you win a race but it's really expensive the triathlon the races the, the training camps <coughs> yeah you spend a lot of money if you if you do triathlon so now for the team it's really good they they organize everything so that's good and yeah they pay for it as well so we don't have to pay a lot now anymore so last year and the year before so I, I had to pay everything myself so I spent a lot of money on triathlon and now it's really yeah I'm, I'm relieved that, that I can be a pro because uh, yeah it's it's nice because otherwise I had to go to work again and, and it's not the same so now the you the new place uh, triathlon team they yeah, they organize the training camps they book the flights so so leaves you time to concentrate yeah, on, it's on the training. Yeah, it's all relaxed. Yeah. What about the actual training in specific? With uh, you, you're now training with the likes of Rick, uh, Becca, uh, with so Sophie, mm -hmm. with uh, Bart, people like that. How has that changed your, your your approach to the actual training? Yeah, um, we train a lot individual, but on Thursdays um, when we are at home, we all go together to the new place. Um, um, and we, we swim together in the morning and we eat together and in the, in the afternoon we, we try to do a running session or something else. So it's really nice because yeah, it's an indivi in, in individual sport and then it's nice that once in a week you can go there and tell things and yeah, it's nice, it's relaxing. So.
What about uh, competition in, in, in training? I know when I swam, most of our competition in training came from the girls. They, were, they always wanted to beat the guys. Uh, is that something that you and Sophia are doing when you when you're here on a training camp and training with the guys? Oh no, no, not at all. In Belgium, they always ask uh, Sophie and me if we are like friends or yeah. are we competitors, and they always try to yeah to set us up. Uh, against each other so uh, it's it's um, but uh, we are all friends and it's not like we no we are not competing in the trainings like, we just do our own thing yeah. but it's nice that you can come together to the pool and it helps you train better i would imagine that like you have people there to support you you have teammates there yeah rather than always being on your own that you've got people there that can support yeah, you me and sophie we are about the same, I think. I, maybe now I'm a bit better on the long distance, and she's a bit better on the seven people in trees. So she's a bit faster in her run. But we, we can go like oh, I want to beat her, or and she's the same. So we make each other better. So yeah. um, I spoke to to, to the the U place team manager earlier this week, Ben. Uh, he told me um, he was. Very confident you could be top five finishing Kona this year. <laughs> what's what's your thoughts on that? Is that your main focus for the year, Kona? Um, yeah, competing I, well in Hawaii. Yeah, I really want to be good in Kona because I was two times there now, and my run always was like it was good in the beginning, but then after 20 or 30 k, I started uh, struggle, struggling. So I think I can. If everything is right, then I can be in top five. But uh, yeah, everything has to be right. Yeah. And then I, I try this year to, after the full distance in Texas. I hope I have enough points so that I can relax and take a break, and then I can start again to train just uh, for a while so that I can be in a good shape over there because. Probably a lot of people have to do a lot of races and are tired when they go to Hawaii and I hope I don't have to do that. So. Um, what's what's your your background before you got into triathlon? Were you were you an individual? Were you a cyclist or a swimmer or a runner or you just no, came together and did actually I, I did volleyball. So ah, okay. <laughs> and then I was I did athletics, but more like the javelin. And yeah. Yeah. So, so nothing how, to do how with did you, running. How did you get into triathlon? <laughs> well, my father used to do triathlon, and then it looked like oh, I'm we gonna try that. <laughs> And then I, yeah, I, I was good in cycling. My father is a really good cyclist, so for me, the cycling, yeah, it's not struggling at all. It's really, it's, yeah, I'm a good climber and I'm strong on bike, so yeah, that's nice. What what specifics are you doing here, here this week? This you know these past two weeks in Mallorca. Uh, have you done anything specific in, 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 in your approach towards doing better in Kona, doing doing successfully in Kona? Did you work on anything specific, improving your swimming or...? Yeah, now in this uh, period we try to work on the speed, um, so that, uh, yeah, that you're not uh, too slow already, so we try to do a lot of speed work. Yeah. What about... Um, What's the difference between when you're away on a training camp and, and your training when you're when you're back in Belgium? Oh, in Belgium you don't have to, uh, a lot of rest because you go to friends and family and yeah. when you are on a training camp it's just training, eating, sleeping, so it's really relaxing. So you have the sun and then in Belgium it's, yeah, it's, it's nice, it's always nice because you are more relaxed then, so you can always just focus, yeah, focus yeah, yeah, yeah. on, on, on. Yeah, train better than, yeah. Um, you, you mentioned before that the, the, the U place team were on Belgian national television uh, last week. Um, during a segment of that, you, they filmed you, you had a crash, they, you came off your bike, I think it was somewhere near Sawyer up the north of the island. Um, you cut your arm pretty bad. Tell us about your crash that you had. Oh, it was not that bad. <laughs> I crashed a lot, so yeah. it was like, okay, if 
I can move everything and I felt like okay, it's okay. It hurts, but it's okay. It's it's deep here, but yeah. I can do everything. I can run fast again, and I, it doesn't hurt me on the bike or in the pool. So it's okay. I don't make a fuss about it because I think it's like the tenth time or the fifteenth time I fall with my bike. So. I tried to tell not at home, but it was not possible with the television, so I tried not to tell my mother because she's always like, oh, she's always glad when I'm off the bike in the race, and it's, it's, it's re really slippery over here when it's wet. Yeah. Yeah, if you just walk, you can feel it as well, so you really have to be careful when it's wet. I learned that here. Have, have you been to Miyoko before training? Or? No, it's no. the first time. I really enjoy it here. It's Tell me a bit about the cycling on there, other than being slippery one way. Yeah, yeah, it's it's really nice. It's not flat, but it's it's good. I think with the time trial bike as yeah. well because it's going up and down and up and down, so you, know, you get really strong from uh, yeah from from both cycling out out here. So. Yeah, it's nice. The nature is nice. So yeah, it's not uh, busy running, with the cars out. and yeah. So. What about the, the the running? You've been running out in in the woods here, just behind the, the beach close by, or or you've been using more track? Yeah, I, I I went for a track session in Manakar and I went to the woods. It's all nice here. Yeah, <coughs> I can, I could do my my runs. I did a speed session in the woods as well, so the path is yeah. nice, yeah, yeah, <laughs> I enjoy it here. What about um, transitions, how, how much work do you do on, on transition part of the, the triathlon, considering uh, you're an Ironman, it's not as vital as maybe on an Olympic triathlon? Yeah, I never practice it, I'm <laughs> and I'm bad at yeah. in it, so yeah. Sophie is really good in transition, yeah. so sometimes we uh, leave the water together and then she's like two minutes ahead of me. <laughs> Yeah, I'm really bad. I, I, I should uh, practice it yeah. because uh, with the red suit I'm really slow. <laughs> okay, thanks very much, team, Tina. Um, glad you've had a good time here. Yeah, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the stay here with the second. Thanks very much. Bye.